What's going on there guys and welcome back to F1 Fresh. After falling behind front runners Ferrari and Red Bull at the start of the new 2022 season, Mercedes has released some much needed upgrades for their previously troublesome W13. In doing so, the seven time world champions aim to unlock the potential of their F1 car and get their season back on track. Recently, these key upgrades made their debut at the Spanish Grand Prix following some smaller improvements in Miami, but what upgrades has the team introduced so far, and more importantly, what was wrong in the first place? Here's everything you need to know about Mercedes' new upgrade spotted and Will Speaks on comeback. Number 5. What was wrong with Mercedes' F1 car? Mercedes' W13, officially known as the Mercedes-AMG F1 W13 E Performance, may not have suffered any major mechanical failures, but it certainly saw its top speed limited over the first few races this year. On the track, F1 champion Lewis Hamilton and his teammate George Russell tried their best to make the most out of the car, but it simply wasn't fast enough. The legendary auto racing drivers, despite their stellar record in motorsport, saw their team fall from the top of Formula 1. But what exactly was the issue? The major problem seems to surround W13's aerodynamics since the car has been porpoising or bouncing more than others. Essentially, you want to run your car as close to the track as possible to create downforce. However, as the Mercedes is picking up downforce at high speed, the right height of the car reduces drastically. This in turn hinders the airflow underneath the car, causing the car to rise only for the airflow to reattach and repeat the process. Formula 1 cars especially require a consistent airflow to achieve higher speeds, so when these airflows are interrupted, the car and its driver bump up and down like a porpoise diving in and out of the sea. Although porpoising has affected most Formula 1 teams, even leaders like Ferrari, it seems to frustrate Mercedes the most. According to representatives, W13's bouncing has resulted in most, if not all of the team's deficit, which is around a second per lap. Trying to stop the bouncing also means Mercedes aren't able to run their cars as low as they want, harming downforce even further. Addressing the issue, Lewis Hamilton said, You can't really stop it. The only thing you can do, the only thing you do, is come off the gas and just drive slower. But when the car is going up and down, it's bouncing, and if you're turning in at 200 miles per hour and the car is loaded and unloaded, you can imagine it can be quite unstable. Mercedes team principal and CEO Total Wolf also talked about the porpoising problem, saying, I think the fundamental issue that overclouds and overshadows everything is that our car is porpoising more than others. Number 4. What updates did Mercedes introduce to its F1 car? The Spanish Grand Prix is an ideal location for teams to introduce upgrade packages. So it's no surprise that the recent race in Miami saw Mercedes introducing its vital W13 upgrades. As the team unloaded their F1 car in Barcelona, it immediately became obvious that they still have a few tricks up their sleeve. For starters, Mercedes has introduced its own bib wing design, and in doing so, it has followed the example first set by Aston Martin, which Ferrari and Red Bull have already used at the start of the season. These small winglets are installed underneath the car towards the front wing and will improve airflow at the front of the car. Apart from the adjustments made to the front wing and rear corner, Mercedes's revamped W13 also has an improved design for its floor body and floor edge, while the team is still trying to reduce the car's weight. Mercedes's technical director Mike Elliott further elaborated on these upgrades, explaining how the team resolved W13's aerodynamic problems. The experiments we were doing on track, trying to understand the bouncing, we gathered a lot of data, he said, before claiming that the latest improvements have definitely settled the car down. Elliot said, The package we brought here were definitely able to run the car in a position much more close to where we'd initially run it. So there's a chunk of downforce that comes from that, and the car is just a lot more settled. The drivers look happy now. Number 3. What does Wolf have to say about these upgrades? Ever since Mercedes returned to the spotlight with its W13 upgrades, Wolf has made several statements following May 22nd Spanish Grand Prix. The motorsport executive said, I've seen a car that reminded me of the race cars of previous seasons where you're 30 plus seconds behind the whole field and you come all the way to the front and near the podium. That's very encouraging and shows we have made another step. 
Wolf was also asked if the new upgrades will help Mercedes win the F1 Constructors' Championship. He replied, Can we fight for another world championship? Well, we bet we can. We just need to have a car able to finish first and second. We have reasons to believe we can get there. If you look at the odds, they're against us, but motorsporting is a different ball game. We saw on Sunday that Ferrari didn't score a lot of points, although they should have, so we're absolutely pushing flat out to bring us back into the game. Besides the CEO, how does the rest of the team feel about these improvements? Earlier this month, Hamilton doubted the impact Mercedes' upgrades may have on their outright performance. You can expect we'll be giving it our all, he said. We've been trying our best, and there's been a huge amount of work in the background. You can see we've got a new rear wing, for example, so I'm just grateful for everyone keeping their heads down and for the amazing hard work that everyone is putting in. I don't anticipate much change in that sense. Later, however, the F1 champion did give a slightly contradicting statement, saying, We're not the quickest yet, but I think we're on our way. It's the first time we've driven down the straight without bouncing. We still have some bouncing, but it's way better. So yeah, starting to ache into a bit of the potential in our car. There's a lot more to this car. It's a little more comfortable to drive now than before. George Russell also gave his viewpoint on the all-new parts of the W13. He said, The car's definitely reacting differently. We don't have the porpoising on the straight, but we have it on some of the corners here and there, which ultimately you need to dial out. Number 2. Have these updates resolved the porpoising issue? Now the main question is, has Mercedes finally cracked the code and resolved its largest obstacle? As per Russell's statement, it's safe to say Mercedes' porpoising problems have significantly decreased on straightways, but the issue isn't fixed permanently. According to Mercedes' motorsport strategy director, James Valls, the upcoming races will test how successfully the team has solved its W13 issues. The two upcoming races on street tracks will test how successfully Mercedes has solved their problems, Val said. We've got difficult tracks coming up, we've got Monaco and Baku, which will throw up their own challenges and surprises. The difference now, though, is we have a car that's within touching distance of the front and a car that we can fight for a championship with. Number 1. How have Mercedes' upgrades performed? As Mercedes strives to cure the bouncing that has plagued its progress, Wolf and the rest of the team are quite optimistic about the upcoming races. So far, the W13 upgrades seem to be performing well. Since the porpoising has significantly reduced now, it has greatly enhanced the car's straight line speed. As a result, we recently saw Hamilton finishing an impressive fifth in Barcelona, while Russell made his best finish of the year so far, capturing his second podium of 2022. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon to stay notified of our latest videos going forward. See you in the next one.